Pelham House Care Home is nestled in a charming location in Folkestone. I'm Andrew South and I was keen to find out what makes this home stand out from others. Established in 1978, its current owner gave me an insight into why he considers Pelham House to be a special place to live. I bought the home in November 2010 uh, because I suppose I wanted to um, have a tangible business and a, make a tangible difference to people's lives really. Um, I'd worked in hospitals for many years as a, as a senior manager in hospitals and I just felt I could use that experience to be a bit more direct in how I care and support people. The staff had been here for up to 21 years. And where were you working before? I worked as a receptionist up at Hawkinge Community Centre. Yeah. But I had my interview here and uh, I thought it was absolutely lovely. Great vibe with the place. Met the manager and just thought, yeah, I need to work here. I really like it. Met a few of the residents as soon as I walked in the door. Sort of like helped them out. One of them was sitting on the chair. I think it was over there. And uh, sort of like got to know them straight away. And I thought, yeah. I look after the staff because uh, I believe if I give them the environment and the support they need, they too can then move on to give the clients and the residents that stay with us and visitors the best support and care that they need. You wouldn't be in this job if you didn't care for people and didn't have a, that sort of personality about you. You want to look after people, you want to make people feel better. Pelham House were, were dedicated uh, to caring for people. Um, all the staff that work for Pelham House uh, understand the, the, the ethos of compassionate care and putting people first, putting our clients first. You've done your job, you know, I do their rooms how I would do my rooms at home. I take pride in my job, you know, I treat them as if they were my own family and I get on really well with everybody. It feels like home and we pride ourselves on that. We don't have an institutional feel, we have a real warm and homely feel. When, we, when my daughter brought me in um, to have a look around, everything seemed to be so friendly. And uh, she said, it's got a nice atmosphere, Mother. So I said, yes, that's what I thought. And I saw one or two of the ladies that was in the lounge. And uh, that's what made me decide. So, so what is it that you enjoy about life here oh, now? Oh, I would say everything, Andrew. Everything, meals are wonderful. As, as you say, you're left in absolute peace. You're not forced to do anything. But on the other hand, they've got sort of activities on the door downstairs. Mm -hmm which means there are plenty of things uh, going on if you want to join in. We also refurbished the kitchen and made, modernised that to be a kitchen where the cooks could actually utilise and prepare food a bit better um, and move it away from being a domestic kitchen as well. The home has achieved five-star recognition for its food service. They enjoy the food, they love it. We get no complaints from the residents at all. Um, if it's something that is on the menu that they don't like, then we give them something else. Um, it's changed an awful lot since Roger came. Um, he asked me what I wanted and I told him I wanted fresh meat, fresh vegetables and that. And it's progressed from there. We got up to a five rating and we're keeping it. But it's harder work to keep it than it is to get it. I could see the opportunity to improve the garden and my plan there was to make the outside of Pelham House just as attractive as what the inside was. I just wanted a bit more of a sort of seclusive uh, feature here so as you can see people can sit in these areas and, um, and just spend some time by themselves really. So that was the biggest change we did and that took several years and then there were other things as well because Pelham House I think was very dated in its decor. So we spent a lot of time and money actually with the residents and working with the residents and staff, choosing new interior uh, and decorations and improving the inside of the building as well. So what do relatives have to say about Pelham House? Well, some friends of my mum and dad had had a relative of theirs here for, uh, several years before and they were very, very pleased with how things had gone and they recommended it to my my dad initially and then he came and had a look with them 
and he told me about Pelham and he said I, I really think that's the right place. Everybody is so friendly here, the staff are very very friendly, the other residents are very friendly, you just feel it's so warm and welcoming as soon as you come inside and I've, I've just been so happy with the care my mum's receiving. How long has your, your mother been here now? Four years, over four years now. It's gone very, very quickly. She has fitted in very, very well. She's um, quite a strong character. Roger allows them to each have part of their own garden and um, they were asked what they'd like planted in that garden. This is my mother's over here. This lovely one here with all the colour. It looks, looks lovely. Yeah, because when at home, Mum was a very, very keen gardener and um, always had an abundance of flowers in her garden. People can come to Pelham House knowing that they will get that they expect and their loved one will be in a safe and secure environment and we're all dedicated to giving them the best care possible. What has it meant to you in, in your life to have her here? No, she's safe because she kept having incident, uh, well, she had a few minor heart attacks at home, the nasty incident at home, which made her decide. I'd say it was a caring, safe environment, and I would recommend it highly. Activities and entertainments are available regularly for those who want to take part. Lovely. That was lovely. And it's clear that Roger is not satisfied with standing still. We want to get better at what we do. We want to specialise in our training and our development as well. Um, we are recognised as one of the best homes in the area uh, and we will, we will keep on trying to improve upon that. That quality of care, hmm. you know, Pelham House can offer that quality residents because we've all got that experience behind us. You know, the turnaround of staff is very... There's been literally women that have been here 16, 17 years and I think that says a lot. You know, you, very rarely do you get new people in because the people that work here, um, you know, they enjoy their job and it's a good it's a good boss, Roger. Our plan is to continue to be a specialist in certain fields. We want to be recognised as exemplary really in the field of early stage dementia care and also palliative care um, and caring for people at the later stages of their life. Um, so we're really putting a focus on the training in those areas. They don't just get a basic level of training, they'll also get an enhanced level of training as well. It should rest with the residents. I honestly think I can say Andrew there is not one of them have not liked or got along with as I wish to. And any extraordinary requests, you know, which I put in my politest language, I usually dealt with very promptly. I cannot fault the staff whatsoever. I mean, some of them have been here for years, and I think that must tell a story. To find out more about how to be part of the Pelham House story, contact the home to arrange an informal visit on 01303 252 145 or email info at pelhamcarehome.co.uk.